Good morning. This is a 2016 Toyota Tundra with a 5.7. We're going to be doing the AC compressor that's down there underneath. The first step normally is to remove refrigerant. This one has no refrigerant. The next step is going to be to remove the grill because you have to get to the high pressure side. There is push clips here and here. The rest of them are 10 millimeters. Make sure you don't drop those because they will puncture a tire. I mean, not by themselves, of course, but... Alright, four coarse screws. push clips put up here along the top and now we should have clips that hold this bumper cover on or the the grill on and it looks like our first first step for this to be able to gain access to it is to get these off of the dowels and there is dowels on all of these except for the the end clips of this all right that was easy enough oh it's even easier it just fell right off except for this side one second this is going to take two hands because I don't want to scratch this perfectly shiny grill. Alright, with the grill off, you have your high pressure port here. Make sure not to lose your caps if you're only replacing the compressor itself. If you're rebuilding the whole system, it should come with new caps. If it doesn't and you need them, you can get them for pretty cheap at the parts store. Alright, so our next step here is going to be remove the belt. Now well, that's going to fare a little bit difficult because I can't get to the belt from up here. Or I could get to the belt, just can't get to the tensioner. The tensioner is up under the thermostat housing there. You could probably see it from underneath, so that's what I'm going to do is go under and see... gauges up. Go underneath and see if I can see it. Hey, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but just above the alternator there is the tensioner. And here is our AC compressor. So we're going to get the belt off first and then get the jack under here because the jack's going to be in the way of gaining access to everything. Because we have to take this wheel off. We actually may not have to take the wheel off because this is the section that you're having to gain access to here. You pull this panel off. This is a rubber material. A couple push clips. And we just came right out. Obviously, they've been changed a couple times, and somebody didn't put the right ones in there. All right, there's the AC compressor. Should have two studs and two bolts, and that's what it looks like it is. The lines, in order to get those off, they're 10 millimeter. That's pretty straightforward. Most vehicles are 10 millimeter. The compressor bolts and nuts are 12 millimeter. And the studs are E8 inverted torques. So you have to remove, if it were me, I would remove the front studs and the nuts, 
then go to the back to remove those that way whenever you're ready to come out you don't have to go fighting with studs soon as uh, the parts store gets my tool here be able to get started on this and I can record a little more This is more than enough room to be able to get this compressor out too. So you don't have to go removing unnecessary stuff. This wire is to the compressor clutch. All right, I'm gonna start taking the studs out and the nuts off. All right, so I'm doing this exactly how I said I would do it, is take the nuts off first and then take the studs off. So I got a 12 mil wrench onto the nuts. I already got both of these loose. Actually I got the bottom one all the way off, but I got the top one loose just now. I had to go from the top, since I'm only using a wrench, Alright, now the initial torque is broken. Spin it off with my finger, maybe. Why is this in the way? Come on, man. Looks like I'm going back in with the wrench. shall see okay it's loose word of advice get deep swivels the compressor is extremely hot right now out of there two nuts removed spectacles removed sweat engaged you know they say you get acclimated to the weather wherever you move that's not true don't let people lie to you I've been in Florida for five years now and I die every summer and freeze every winter. Come on, get on there. I have no depth perception at this angle because I'm looking over the top of the, the second eyes. That was going to be a little tricky to get to. <sighs> hey, looks like I'm going to have to go get either a wrench or a 10 millimeter swivel. You know, it's a good thing that I have a 10 millimeter wrench right here. Can't see it from up here. So the only option is to go from underneath. I mean, that, that's not the only option, but that's, that's gonna be my only option. Set the nuts down here in the, the shell, that way they get lost. Reach inside of here. Go ahead and remove this line. Let's 
work a little bit more of the torque or not. loose be sure to change the o-rings and drip oil everywhere yeah, because that's what we do we're we're mechanics all right now we're gonna go ahead and take the studs off maybe i might have to get a six mile long extension or a little ratchet because the electric ratchet is too big to go in there all right now we found a ratchet finally search through my entire tool collection to be able to get it but I found it yeah, that one's broken loose I don't know how in the world I'm gonna get this one I guess like that oh. <laughs> what is the likelihood that these actually spin right out so far so good collection of things to get lost. Make sure to put some WD-40 or something on these because I think this is an aluminum block. Actually, no, it's not. It looks like it's steel. Iron. But still spray it with WD-40. studs these are the nuts for the studs these are for the line now the compressor that we're using is from four seasons it's 157325 let's get it over here and get her unboxed do it in the shade actually I think the shade over there yeah, they shade for a minute. sure these don't come pre-filled either this compressor comes pre-charged with three ounces of oil now based off the sticker
eight ounces of oil. So once once we get it taken apart and ready to go back in, I actually have pack oil and refrigerant coming. Hey, I've gotten the belt off. Got the rings inside of there. So now it's time to take the bolts off. Let me get the belt off of the compressor. I'm really hoping I can change this manifold off of here. Looks like I can. Because this one doesn't mount exactly the same, so when I get those two bolts out and I'll start recording again. Well, after a, a good long fight with the back bolt, I finally got it loose. I'm going to move this wiring harness back over to the other side, get this hose out of the way, get the compressor out of there. Get away from there. Alright, this is the way it's going to be when it comes out. So be prepared for it. I got to use both hands, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get it out of there. Alright, so this is the new compressor. This is old compressor. This is the manifold that you have to take off. There is literally one bolt that holds this thing on, which is really surprising. You would think that they would have utilized both holes. So when you go to take this apart, you'll want to make sure that the O-ring that you were going to use for here was used on this piece. And then the one that's on the line inside of there needs to be changed with a new one. I'm fairly certain it's probably going to be the same size. In order to get this thing out, the direction that I last had in the video was incorrect. You want this section facing up. I fought with it for probably 15 minutes to be able to get it rotated back around. But it came out finally. I did take the bracket off inside of there that held the wiring loom in place. I didn't take it off, I took it loose and then rolled it around to where it was facing front where the frame. Pulled it right out the hole. And after looking here, the bolt in the front where these studs go, look like they do go into aluminum. So again, be sure to spray some silicone or something on it just so it doesn't stick. My recommendation when putting it back in, get it set close to in its place, put the stud through the top left corner up there, you can see it in the hole right there. Put your compressor on the dowels on the front side where the studs are, and then thread that top stud in. After that, it's all downhill from there. Thanks for watching.